right there. Put that there. All right, here we go. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, man. What's up, man? Welcome to It's Just Music, man. I'm LB Sickening. Go ahead and introduce yourself for the people that don't know who you are. What's up, family? My name is Mindsell. Yeah, man. Uh, go ahead and tell us what first got you into music, man. Dude, it's always been my passion, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, every so all right, so let, let me take it back to when I was like five, six years old, man. I started listening to ICP when Bizarre Bizarre came out. And, dude, I fell in love with it, man. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, this is different. It's not like what everybody else, like everybody on the BET, MTV is doing. You know what I mean? It's something different. It's something I can relate to. You know what I'm saying? So I started getting into it, man. I've been a juggalo since so I was five years old, dude. You know what I mean? I'm 28 years old now, dude. And uh, I just, you know what I mean? Like my biggest dream, man. Like I remember being 12 years old telling my pops, I was like, man, I was like, my biggest dream is just share a stage with ICP one time. And I've opened up for Violent J on solo tours twice and ICP once. It's fucking incredible, dude. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? It's a hell of a feeling being in front of your music idols, man. Uh, and that's pretty cool to know that you fell into the music you know, or to the family uh, during the Bizarre Bizarre era. That's definitely my favorite era of the class. Yeah, mine too. Mine too. Uh, yeah, I, I got into them during the Riddle Box, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I found my sister had a tape in her, de in her CD, during her tape deck and gave it to me and shit. Yeah. That's an old ass story, man. But this show ain't about me, man. It's about you. What's up, man? Who inspired you to make music besides ICP? Dude, this is going to sound crazy, man, but fucking Bob Dylan was one of my first inspirations, dog. Like that old folk singer from the 60s. Yeah. I yeah, know. him and, and fucking, uh, besides, like, besides ICP, I'm going to say Gino Cult shit. Yeah, R.I.P. Gino all day. Uh, he's all got day, a, man. Yeah, my, my boy Theron Reed, uh, Psychotic. He has a... He has yeah, a I know him. I know, I, know, I know Psychotic. Yeah, he's got a really dope song with, with Theron Sleep forever. Yeah, sleep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Great song, man. Shout out to. I you. actually got a. I actually, I actually have a song with Psychotic too. Yeah, shout out to Psychotic, man. Love you, bro. All yeah, day. man. Uh, oh, by the way, hey man, which we're on it. I don't want to touch too much on it. Spend too much time on it. But yo, Psychotic, there's no beat between us, dog. I love you, brother. He, he even came to my fucking birthday bash in Columbus, Ohio, man, back in 2018. But yeah. uh, we kind of fell out over some stupid shit. There's no hate, man. I love you, brother. Psychotic has a huge heart, bro. Very, very big heart. Uh, it's it's easy to offend psychotic. Uh yeah. it's, it's it's it is. You know, yeah. it's it's just facts, bro. I love you. It's just the truth. That that's your personality. It is what it is. Let's keep going, man. How would you describe the music that you typically create? Uh I mean, like, okay, so for one, like I put my fucking heart into every single song, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't sit there and try talking about money, guns, shit I've never done, nothing like that. I talk about like the struggle, drug addiction, being homeless, feeling like you're an outcast, being a black sheep of your family, feel like everybody doubts you, like nobody gives a fuck about you, you know what I'm saying? Like just believe in yourself. That's where I get my name from, you know what I mean? Mind cell. My head is my prison, my mind is my cell. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's your creative process like? Uh, I definitely need some weed, I definitely need, or, or dabs, either one. And I need people to leave me the fuck alone and just sit there and just fucking however I'm feeling that day. Get a hold of a beat, just fucking pour my heart out on it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how I am. My girl like go in the other room and everything. She sees me pick up a pen and a paper. She don't even say nothing. Even if we're in the middle of a conversation, if I pick something up, she'll like walk away. That's cool. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So she uh, respects you like that, man. For real. A lot of chicks don't get it, man. Yeah. Uh, trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married and everything. Uh, <laughs> who would you most who would you most like to collaborate with that you haven't already? I mean, man, if there was any possible way, dude, any fucking way possible, man, Gino cult shit, but I know that's never going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I got some dick. Yeah, you never, uh, know, you never know, though. I'm from, uh, I hear rumors that there's still a lot of recordings that's never been put out, but I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, I've actually talked to Damian Quinn personally, man, like on the phone. I was like, man, please, don't give a fuck how much you want. Please let me get on one of those, dog. You know what I'm saying? But he's like, like, he's like, like, he's like, nah, bro. Nah, bro, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm sure it's hard to let go of that stuff. Um, oh yeah, yeah. If you could go and open a show for any artist, who would it be? You know, collaborating and doing shows are two completely different things. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my, like I said, my dream was to open up for ICP, and I did that. Um, so I guess I would have to say, uh, right, you got to make a new dream, bro. Right here on the spot. Let's right, go. right, right, right. Uh, let's twist it. Yeah. I've never uh, opened up for Twisted. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, I'd love to open up for both groups, bro. You know what I mean? I, mean, oh, yeah. shit. I got to go on the Gog show. Violet J gave me a nine. That was pretty fresh. That's pretty much the only story I got with them. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. What is one message you'd like to give to your fans, man? Only your fans. The rest of the world can't hear this. 
keep doing you. Don't let nobody and no fucked up negative energy get in your way. Don't let nobody tell you you're full of, you know what I mean? Don't, even people that doubt you, just keep on believing in yourself, man, because I've been doubted out and counted out my whole fucking life, dude. And I'm here getting interviewed by you, man. You know what I mean? You got a, you got a pretty nice following, big name. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just don't let nobody stop you, man. Just keep whatever whatever your passion is, whether it's music, being a doctor, a lawyer, whatever the fuck it is, just do it, man. You bro, know what I mean? Bro, you, you're in pretty much the same genre of music that I've been in most of my life. So you know as well as I know that this following is one of the most brutal followings in music. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. it comes when it comes to comments or or anything, really. You know what I'm saying? Uh I've been doing it for 20 years, bro. You know what I'm saying? They ain't stopped me yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. I like I like your background, man. I like how you got the the soundproof up and shit. You got your scarface fucking shit on the wall. Oh, yeah. That's my uh, baby. I, I see the three headed monster tour on the wall. That's dope. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. It's actually, it's actually auto, that's actually autographed by Eshawn Valen J and uh, Ouija Mac, too. I also got the fucking uh, the Greg Malenko era dolls of uh, ICP up there, up top, autographed by Shaggy and Jay. I got the comic book. Like, here, I'll show you. Oh, yeah. I remember those. Yep. My cousin had some of them. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. I got clown shit over here. I got kind of shit. I got a one of a kind painting from the Gong Show somewhere around here. <laughs> my hatchet man's right here, along with my. Look, I keep my shit. I keep. I keep it close. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be right by oh, me. You know? What hell I mean? yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> dude, dude, me too. Look, look, hold up. Let me get it. Look, the fucking gathering charm, dog. Yeah. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. <laughs> We probably met each other and don't even know it, bro. You know what I mean? I, I bet we have. You look just like Jay Bazaar, dog. You look like if Jay Bazaar and fucking Damien Quinn had a kid, it would be you. I've heard that before. I've, that's not the first time I've heard that comment. But not exactly that exact like comment. That. Not exactly <laughs> like that. But <laughs> What's your most useless talent, man? The most famous question on the show. Useless talent? Yeah. Something that you do that's dope that don't make you any money. That's That's my definition of it. I feel like, okay, all right, so, okay. I feel like maybe it's all the LSD I've taken in my lifetime. I don't know. But, like, dude, sometimes if I tap into the right thing or the right mood, dude, I can literally sit here, man, and I've had I have a, I've had friends around me do it. There's, there's actually videos of this shit. I can, like, if you name off, like, a question, like, when did Dr. Doolittle come out? You know what I'm saying? I'll be able to tell you exactly fucking the year it came out and sometimes even the fucking month of some things. Swear to God, dude. And then, like, the next day, I'll try to, I'll be like, I don't even probably remember that shit. You know what and I'm saying? That's why there is video. That, that's pretty useless until you go on a game show. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, that's my, maybe, maybe that's my next calling, man. I like that, man. So say you're in the shower, you're walking down the street, you're in your homie's busted ass vehicle, ain't got no fucking radio on. You got music going through your head. And if you do, what songs or is it you? Hold on. What was that? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a long ass question, fucker. <laughs> so say <laughs> Say you're in the shower or whatever, you're walking down the street, you ain't got no headphones on, you're in your homie's busted ass car, you know what I'm saying, he ain't got no radio or whatever, fucking, you got music going through your head, and if you do, what songs, is it your songs, is it somebody else? Uh, almost every single day I got a Beatles song playing in my fucking head, dude, the That's, Beatles. Yeah, shout out to the Beatles, man, I, I redid a Paul McCartney song. What's your favorite Beatles song? What's your favorite Beatles song? Uh, probably Yesterday. Yeah? Yesterday, Let It Be, Help. Uh, the long winding road, uh, the, the nowhere man, hey you. I mean, dude, it goes on and on and on with them. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be your typical fucking Beatles fan. I gotta say, Yellow Submarine for the simple fact that. Oh yeah, we are living the Yellow Submarine. Right, <laughs> it, it's the acid shit, and that's how I found the Beatles. Man, I went to the library, my local library, and I'm fucking, I was getting VHS tapes and shit, and I found their cartoon. You know what I'm saying? And I checked yeah. out the cartoon. And fucking, my mom hated that shit. I hate the fucking Beatles. These dudes are dope. What do you mean, bro? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's funny, man. My mom actually bought me the fucking uh the fucking uh movies, the Hard Days Night movie, the uh, the Magical Mystery Tour movie, and the fucking uh uh the Yellow Submarine cartoon. Dude, it came with a CD. Got out of FYE. Oh, yeah. She's she's never been a Beatles fan, but I love that shit. I think it's dope. Uh, Fuck yeah, man. That was like the shift in music. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. I think I think that she did. I think that once she had kids, her music taste probably changed a lot. Because from the stories that I hear, my mom was a different person than she is today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think yeah, I once it. she had once she had kids, she like chilled out on her music taste because she didn't want like 
it's the devil. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's right. So let's ask another question. Like they, Go all right, ahead. what's up? Go ahead. Kind of like when, how they say fucking with that devil shit or whatever. They kind of say like all hip hop artists are, you know, okay, look, I'm such on like this. Okay, yeah. If you're especially rap music, when you're doing all those rhymes and it's yin yang, you know what I'm saying? It's it's right. this and it's that, it's this and it's that. You are casting like a spell, man. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people take it the wrong way, and you know what I'm saying? They think it's all we're all going to hell. You know what I'm saying? It's the demonic music, just that blah blah blah. It's all bullshit, man. But you know, it is a, a definitely a powerful energy, man. And if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, man, it can fuck you up. Yes, uh, I, and I've learned that the hard way through a lot of things in my music. Like for example, I've learned not to um kill anybody on film i've learned not to do anything like that like i got a i got a video with a friend of mine um it's called frozen uh justin he portrayed a drug addict in it like you know what i'm saying and he dies in my video and both him and his brother passed away from the shit you know what i'm saying not too long after that shit like i like i got like a series of like four or five videos where like i tell this dude's life story and we didn't even realize it you know what i'm saying um yeah sometimes you can speak things into reality with it for sure speak it into existence yeah man yeah yeah you, yeah you can also man even if you don't even open your mouth and say nothing you can manifest that shit you know I what know, i mean I, I, I personally i don't care what your beliefs are you just don't push them on me i'm not i'm not trying to push nothing on anybody else but yeah. i personally i personally believe in god you know what i'm saying and it's like that shit's creepy as fuck you know what i'm saying but <laughs> Dude, hey, that's funny you said that, man. Because like, especially with the music and shit we do, man, the scene we're in, man. A lot of people, you know, they got their, they got their, you know, whatever beliefs, man. But I used to be a full blown. First, I was a fucking atheist, right? Then I got into like satanic, satanic shit because I thought it was like cool and shit, shock value bullshit. Dude, it's not cool at all, man. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not cool at all, bro. Like I'm getting goosebumps talking about the shit, man. Fucking like, dude. Uh, I've yeah, seen, man. Like I, I, I've seen a lot, and and I've learned. Like I still. I, I believe in Christ and all that stuff, but I still, I listen to horror record music because it's, it's something that like helps me when I'm in that mood and I'm in that mode for it. It's something that helps me get my anger out instead of actually doing something. I listen to something and it's, it's, it's like in St. Cloud Posse said in that song, it's a cartoon nightmare for me. Like I, I envision doing it to the motherfucker I want to do it to, but then it's gone. I don't think about it anymore after that song's over. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like an outlet, basically. Right, you know right, what I'm right. Instead of me punching my walls or whatever on some fucking crazy shit, like I'm, I'm jamming in to to you or to, you know, whoever. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. That, that's what it's for to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, what would you be doing right now if it wasn't for your music? Kind of like how Twisted said that one time. I'd probably be homeless in a fucking gutter, dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like yeah, but uh. No, seriously, man. If I had to do something besides music, probably tattooing. Yeah, you get tattoo artist. Yeah. What do you give no. yourself? No. <laughs> no. Not good yet. No. No, no. I, I, I gave myself a couple bullshit tattoos, but uh, like I actually did this hatchet man right here on my hand, actually. But it's fucked up, man. So fair warning, it's fucked up. But yeah, this hatchet man right here. Yeah, I'll give myself a few too. I got a few on my leg that I gave myself. I don't want to fuck anybody up, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I fuck up and it's on me, I can always fix it or get covered, you know what I mean? My favorite tattoo is on my wrist, man. It's a it's a skeleton taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's badass, man. I like that, dude. That's What's the your... first one I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite song to perform? What was that? What's your favorite song to perform? Uh, it's actually a very old song of mine, man. And I don't even like the motherfucker if I'm just listening to it, but it's called Addicts Lullaby. It's fucking dope. Man. You remember uh, the the, uh, the beat that Damien Quinn used on a song called It Follows? It's like, need some sleep, can't go on like this. Right. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's that beat, man. You know what I'm saying? Just jacked it from YouTube and did it. But yeah, that was, that was that's, that's made that song in 2015, I think. 2015 or 2016. And like, I usually like close my show with that. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel the internet has impacted your business? And I, I'm I'm kind of curious of what your answer is going to be to this because you're in a scene that doesn't really need it. How do you feel that the internet has impacted your business? Uh, do you think it can be, be where do you think you'd be where you're at without it? No. No. I believe. Uh, no, no, don't get me wrong, man. Like, if it wasn't for the internet, yeah, I'd probably have to like constantly like every fucking week or so do a show or something you know what i'm saying and once upon a time i was doing that like you know like four or five shows a month you know what i'm saying 
now it's like I want to do it. Seems like here lately, I've just been doing it like when it's just a big name or something, like maybe every four or five, six months. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the internet, man, if it wasn't for that nowadays, man, like it helps you get known. Uh, as long as you know how to market yourself, as long as you know what the fuck you're really doing, you know what I'm saying? And like you can grow your fan base, but it can be also a really bad thing too if you're not if you're if you're not strong minded and you're kind of weak minded, like. Because, dude, fucking the comments people say this and that, you just got to learn to ignore that, man. You know what I'm saying? And some people, man, they take it to heart, man. You know, one bad comment can fuck up your whole day, but one positive comment can fucking make your whole day, make your whole week. You know what I mean? I like to name drop a lot on this show, man. It makes people, you know, sometimes they'll be watching the show and they'll hear one of those names. And then when the show's over, they'll go listen to that person. So what name some more famous musicians that you admire that have nothing to do with your genre? Nothing to do with my timing. Yeah, nothing to do with the Juggalos or, or the horrorcore fans or anything like that. Uh shit, dude. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much all I listen to. It's like LSP shit and Juggalo shit. But uh, we, uh um, uh, maybe like old classic rock. <laughs> like names of people, like Metallica. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude, fuck yeah, dude, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, Metallica, fucking Bob Dylan, Bob Seger, fucking Slayer, fucking uh, um, Whitechapel, Cannibal Corpse, Misfits. I got a Misfit fucking tattoo on my arm, dog. Right here. Misfits is dope. Misfits is dope. Yeah, yeah they got Juggalo. I got fucking Brian Griffin with the fucking. At the time, I thought it was cool. It's like he's wearing a fucking upside down cross, and he's got a fucking pistol in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> then this is supposed to be this is supposed to be Heath Ledger, dude. Oh, yeah. Good art, bro. Good art. Hell yeah. What's the most what's what's the most trouble you've ever gotten into, bro? You can take that question financially with your mama. It don't matter with the police, whatever you want to do. Uh, believe it or not, man, and then this still shocks people. I've never been in trouble a day in my life. I've never been to jail. Let me knock on wood real quick, man. Like I've never been to jail. I've never I've never had no felonies, nothing like that. Um people say my, you know, they see my name and they think it's for music that's people that have been locked up. And hey, people that's locked up want to jam my shit can relate to us and bump it. But uh, when it comes to trouble, I would say probably like, okay, so I lost my mom, dude, uh, from a stroke in 2015. Lost oh, yeah. my brother. A few months. It's okay, man. Lost my brother a few months later from a heroin overdose. And then the following year on April 20th, I watched my dad die on stage for lung cancer. And I lost my fucking mind, dude. Like, yeah, you know what I'm like, saying? What was that? Five people that you just named? Was it four or five? Three. 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 My mom, my brother, and my dad. <laughs> Sorry, I've been smoking dabs all damn day. <laughs> Me too, man. It's all right. It's all right. Keep going, man. Keep going. But uh, I, I, I like I like I said, I lost my fucking mind, man. I didn't know how to how to cope with nothing, anything. You know what I'm saying? And um, I ran to fucking I ran to the drugs. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, I was fucking with my baby mom. We were actually engaged, man. And that's the only girl I've ever I actually like, truly loved. You know what I'm saying? Like love, love. You know what I mean? Right. And um, uh, I, I fucked it up, man. You know what I'm saying? And like we tried working shit out, man. But I just kept on getting high. Um, for the first time in my life, actually, the night my mom died, that that night, I remember the time, it was like 12.30, like midnight, something like that, 12.30 or midnight, this tr a stripper chick that my dad was hanging out with, man, she had some fucking meth, and I fucking tried methamphetamine for the first time, dude, and it, then I was doing coke, then I was doing crack, then I was doing fucking heroin, then I was doing fucking, you know, anything I could, man, get my hands on, you know what I'm saying, all you know is smoke weed, you know. Yeah, uh, that's called Cali Sober, um, I'm not against that at all. Uh, without marijuana, I'd fucking still be doing stupid shit too, man. I'm glad you're not doing it anymore, bro. And you're lucky you're I still here. It. It's not even worth yeah. playing with anymore, man. Like I won't even get high at the gathering anymore. I won't. Yeah. Do, I, won't, I won't do shit. Fuck. That. I mean, I'll take some. I'll, I'll take some acid. You know what I mean? Or some shrooms. Right. But I, I don't like acid, but I'll definitely eat some shrooms. But anything else, I ain't, I ain't fucking with your blow. I I ain't doing nothing. No, no, no. And plus, no. Dude, and plus, dude, especially like this past year, dude, the, the fucking gathering had that big fit and all outbreak, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's fucking with it's fucking with your life. Why are you messing with your life? You know what I mean? <laughs> so what's the best advice you've ever been given? <clears throat> this Freemason dude that I, that I know, man, a long time ago. This was like probably over 10 years ago. He was like, all these people want to, you know, sell their souls for fame and this and that. He was like, they don't understand that fame. Check this out. If one person knows who you are, just one fucking person, if they know who you are, you're famous. Yeah. I mean, it sounds stupid, but if you think about it long enough, man, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you might not, the whole world might not know who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, the but whole world knows who fucking. But to one person you are. Exactly, man. That's fame. Right. I was right. like, What? But yeah, man, like that was probably the best advice I've been given, man. That's facts. Yeah. 
facts. Like when I turn on this computer, I'm in my own world. Um, Me too. You know what I mean? Like this is my world. This is fuck it. I don't know how to, it's it's hard to explain unless you're a musician. It's like exactly, I'm, exactly, man. Everything else turns off when I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know. If I don't have my headphones on, man, like I'll get like a loud ringing going on in my head. I can't fucking hear nothing. My heart right. beats fast. <laughs> I yeah. feel like I might have a fucking panic attack or something. <laughs> if you could change anything that's happened to you in your music career, what would it be? To be more professional in my, in my younger days, you know what I'm saying? Because like, okay, for instance, um, and this kind of relates back to that psychotic thing. In 2018, dude, in Columbus, Ohio, at a place called, it was a venue called Cookie's Place. I had my birthday bash there, my very first one. And dude, it was, it could have went so much fucking better. It could have went so much better. It's psychotic was there. I mean, I had fucking rappers do coming all the way from Michigan, Wisconsin, fucking Indiana, Tennessee, uh, fucking West, West Virginia. You know what I mean? And I was there fucking. I could, OK, so the week the week leading up to the birthday bash, I couldn't sleep. And of course, uh, that had a lot to do with the fucking the methamphetamine that I was <laughs> fucking indulging in. <laughs> and when I got there, man, it was just very unprofessional. I, I was like everybody thought I was on heroin because I was like nodding out for being so tired. And uh, I ended up not even fucking getting to perform because I was so fucked up because they had free drinks. So I mean, they had free chords light for all the artists performing. And I just kept fucking throwing them back, throwing them back. And then like five, six days of not sleeping. Yeah, it was just it was all bad. <laughs> I, I think I'm a, I think I'm going to start adding this question to my shows when I know a motherfuckers down with the clown. Why are you a juggler? You're going to be the first one to ask. I bet that's an honor, man. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to say cause just because, it, you know what I mean, like kind of like the Grateful Dead in the 60s, like that's where the hippies found that was like their 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 leaders almost, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's who we're doing what they're into. You know what I'm saying? It was about peace, freedom and rock and roll back then. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, you know, what it was for ICP and Juggalos, man, I don't even think I'd be a rapper, man. For real. You know what I mean? Either. I probably wouldn't either. I don't know. Maybe because I was in the bone, you know, I was, yeah. in, the, I was in the bone real, real heavy. I might be. I, I yeah. just could, you know that's a good question who knows butterfly yeah it's like you ever seen that movie no fuck yeah dude hey yeah that's the true ass movie dude yeah yeah who knows? i'm on that shit man you hear me i'm on that other that other rim shit you know what i mean i don't live in this world i live yeah. in another world same here bro uh that's you know that's most musicians bro for real yeah so what's next for you what, what you got coming up oh dude Dude, I got a lot coming up, man. Fucking, uh, I actually just got sent to track, dude, yesterday. I think I told you about this, dude, on Messenger. Um, a dude named Capital C from Michigan. He lives in Pontiac, Michigan. It's a good friend of mine. It's got Mastermind on it, Morris from fucking Dark Lotus, and Razakel. And, yo, I said this a long time ago on Juggalo News. I fucking love Razakel, dude. I would eat her fucking farts. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Bobby Mars, bro. You know what? Uh, I'm pretty good friends with his brother, bro. Me and his brother talk almost every day. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's he's a fucking crazy nut. <laughs> yeah. I, I love him; he's crazy. Uh, yeah, Bobby's been on the show. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mars, bro, all day. Uh, I like I I liked that episode. That episode was really cool. Hell yeah! You should watch it if you ain't seen it. Send it to me. I will. Yeah, man. Uh, okay. Usually, I make this show 30 minutes, man. We ain't even at the 10 minute mark, bro. I asked all my questions. We got through those pretty quick, so let's just chop it up. What's up, man? It's just smoking weed, talking to you, dog. You asked me what all I got coming up. Uh, I got the uh, third and fourth volume of uh, my collab albums called Playing in Portals. Uh, because yeah. that's what, anytime you do a collab with somebody, man, you're playing in a portal. A lot yeah. of people don't get that. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they see it, it says Playing in Portals on my album. They're like, what the fuck is this? Some sci fi Matrix bullshit. But it's not, man. Like, anytime, you know what I'm saying? Like, anytime you do a song with somebody, the energy that, that the other artist puts into that song, you can feel that energy, man. It can fuck up your day if you're not strong minded, man. You got to guard yourself, man. You put a protection spell on yourself or something. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, but yeah, I got, I got volume three and four coming up and, uh, it's going to have a shit ton of people on it. Um, I'm redoing a fucking, uh, an old song I did with Damien Quinn called Robin Williams. It's fucking killer, dude. It's fucking got me, Damien Quinn. He does a hook. Um, Ill Temper. He has a, a super group of King Gordy. Shout out King Gordy. I got two songs with him. That's my, that's my dog. It shows what he meant shit. Uh, but back to the story, it's got me, Ill Temper, Damian Quinn, and I'm waiting on Bloody Ruckus to send me his verse, and then it's going to be ready to roll. Sounds fun, man. This Hell yeah. This shit sounds dope. Yeah. Me, me personally, I got a track I'm working with with Mike P. Uh, he produced it and shit. I'm probably getting six digit on it, and another artist, uh, 
soon to be announced. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. Congratulations, bro. It's just dope. I never thought I never thought I'd pull that off. You know. It's dope working with dry bro. You know? Yeah, man. It's shocking. And you know what I mean? You like you feel like you're dreaming, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. but it's just you know. You know, and I don't know if you're, if you're anything like me or anybody, you know, that watches this. It's like, OK, you have all these dreams. You have all these ambitions and goals and shit like this, especially when you're young. But it's like and then you do them. And it's like if your mind's anything like mine, I'll forget who I am. dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, it's sometimes, like I, it's, it, sometimes you got to catch your ego. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I'm not talking about I'm, I've never been a cocky one. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just saying like. I forget who I am, man. And it's like, you know what I mean? Then I'll have to go, I'll go look at my Facebook or go through my gallery on my phone or something and see all these old pictures. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like people yeah. still this day or my people still this day remind me of certain uh, certain events or, or whatever, you know, certain shows and memories they got with me. I, I'm like, I, I still have no recollection of it. <laughs> I've personally I've always been a cocky dude, man. Like I I don't know, I was raised by women, you know what I'm saying? Like mostly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. can't help that's a character defect I have, but at the same time. I like being cocky, you know what I'm saying? So I am who I am. Fuck you, if you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, when it, I'm, I've always been more like a humble dude, but like now, if somebody will step to me and be like, you know, what I'm saying, like, with, with their facts, like they're they're the shit, you know, what I'm saying, just because they did fucking two shows or some bullshit, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. Then, then yeah, I can I can be cocky right with them, you know what I mean? I, I can shoot shit with the best of them, you know what I mean? But if they I, came up to me after cocky and they did two shows. I usually just like shut. I don't know. I ignore the fuck out that shit, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the problem, man. That's the problem, man. So many people nowadays you don't have nothing. And what I mean by that is like they have like, you know, what's your resume? You know what I'm saying? This and that, blah, blah, blah. They do one show, maybe have one mixtape out, and they think they're the fucking a, 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 like two chains or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like dude, slow your fucking roll, man. Yeah, dog. Real talk. Uh I've done a lot of shit. Like I, I got a I got somebody staying at my house with me right now, I'm helping them out. And hell yeah. She's known me for fucking all my life, and she's never really paid attention to my music. It's always been like I've shown it to her, and she's listening right now. I'm not gonna even look to. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna say what I want to say. It's my show. Yeah. Fucking, I, I was showing her like for years, and years. I was showing her my shit. And she always brushed it off like fuck out of here, Billy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know. She since she's been here, I've like been shoving it down her throat. I got I got this song that put her in tears. You know what I'm saying? And like she's like, whoa, okay, wow. She put my sticker on her truck. Like, oh uh, yeah, you know what I mean? It's dope. Yeah, man, it's dope. She's like fifty, bro. So it's not like I got a wife and shit. <laughs> 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 I probably get stared at like fuck you right now. <laughs> all good, man. All good. Hey man, I, I gotta make sure I get a drop out of you, man. Make sure you say who you are and you're watching this just music with sicko and T. All right, all right. Just so it's something fresh in my mind. What is it again? All right. If it was me, I'd be like, yo, this is LB Sickening, and you're watching It's Just Music with Sick OANT on the Signature Series Network. But you ain't got to say on the last part. Hey, yo, this is Mindset. When you guys are watching It Is Just Music with Sick EMT. Sicko. With Sick OMT. Yo, this is Mindset. When you were watching This Is Just Music with Sick OMT. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Do you know whoop, whoop, the definition of that? W H O O P. We help our own people. You know what juggalo means? Just use God's guidance to love ourselves. That's dope, man. I never heard that one. That's dope, man. I got the same shit on me, though. That's dope. Yeah, you, 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 got, you got to love yourself or you can love anybody else, my friend. Exactly, man. Straight up. And ninja, that means you're never in no jam alone. Fresh friendship remains eternal. Stop hating. We corny as fuck in this bitch. <laughs> you already right know, though. You already right know. We're like Dungeons and Dragon motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we just don't look like nerds. We look like, you know what I'm saying? Like we just, you know what I mean? Oh, get we, look like a bunch of, we look like a bunch of fucking convicts or something, but you know, dork, really dork nerdy. Squad, dork squad in the house. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, shout out Chris Nonsense, bro. Hey, bro, it was, a, it was an honor getting you on, bro. Um, Make sure you send me three to five songs, music videos, whatever the fuck, pictures, whatever you want in the show. If you, I got got you. A, if you got a skit, if you got a little fucking piece of a porno, I don't give a fuck, send it. You know I got a little bit of all that. I got a little bit of all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. It was nice having you on. Right. Yep, it's an honor, man. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop.